All right, so here's the answer to my question. So here we have the little tools, and let's bring in the first little bit of evidence. What do we got here? Aha, uh -huh. we've got little balls of pie dough. Aha, uh -huh. so let's see. I'm gonna show you what, what they're for. Whoops. So let's start off. I've got a little pie tin here, and what I'll do is put a little flour. There we go. I'm gonna take my little dough ball, put a little flour here. And when you're using something like this, what you wanna do is you wanna make tiny little balls of dough like this, and then just pop them in, do the whole thing first, fill them all up with your little, with your little dough balls, and then we're gonna use the little tool. So you pop the tool in there, make sure it's a little bit floured, and I'm gonna zoom in a little bit so we can see what we're doing. Let me move this out of the way. Where are we here? There we go. Okay. I'm going to grab my first tool here. And we just take it and we just press right in the middle. Like that. And pull out. Boom, bada, bing. There you go. Nice little pie shell. You would use the same thing for this one here. This is just going to do the same thing as that. I just happen to have two of them. So there we go. I'll do another one. Just so you can see. So let's take another dough ball, roll it. Where are we here? There we go. Pop that in there, make sure I'm on camera. There we go. And we're gonna use this one. You can also flour the end piece, right? Uh, just so that make sure, double, double make sure that it doesn't stick. And just take it like this and just give it a little push. And come on, pull, there you go. And there's another one. Isn't that cute? All right. So let's do a big one. So now I've got a big one here. So let's, I'll zoom out a little bit here so we can see first of all. So here's a large one. And I've got a larger dough ball. I'll show you the difference between the two sizes here. One's about double the size, okay? So I'm gonna use this one here for the large one. This is just a regular size muffin tin. So let's pop some flour in there. Let's put a little flour down here, just roll it, there we go. You know, and thing is, if you're doing all of this in one step, so in other words, you, you've, you make all your little dough balls first, and then you place them in, and then you grab your tool and you do it, it goes very, very quickly. You know, the, the wrong way to do it is to do one at a time and push, and then do another one, it's gonna seem long that way. Do all your little dough balls first, you get them in there, and then just press this in. So, I'm just gonna roll it around, pop that in there like that. This is the large one now. Maybe I'll zoom in again, I forgot. So let's zoom. Where are we? Here we go. Come on. There we go. Beautiful. I'm doing this all by myself. I got my little remote control, which I'm zooming with. All right, so now I'm going to grab this. See, I've got a little bit of flour on the end. Where are we? There we go. And we're going to take it. And now I'm going to push it like this and just give it a little push. Like that. And there you go. Obviously, if you're, you know, if you're a little bit on the side too much, then the dough is going to come up on this side a little bit much, but there you go. You can give it a little push. Boom, bada, bing, done. Look at that. Is that fast or what? So there you go. Let me zoom out again. Do, 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 do. All right, so there you have it. So we've got one there, we've got one there, and there are the tools. And that's how you do it. And that's it for this video, so I'll see you next time.